Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Life with Shelly. If you guys are new here, welcome. If you guys have been watching my videos for a while, welcome back. Today's video, I will be talking about toxic family members. And I'm thinking about maybe, maybe writing my notebook and like writing what YouTube videos that I can make. And also, I got some good news. My husband, I asked him if um, when the baby is born, if I could still do YouTube videos, even with the baby. And um, my husband said, yes, that's fine. Um, I'll probably do is I'll do YouTube videos with the baby, but not all the time. But I will just do like YouTube YouTube videos just with me and then sometimes with the baby and stuff but I'm not gonna do it all the time because the baby might be sleeping or doing other things and I just don't want the baby just to be all wrapped up and doing um being my videos all the time <sighs> because this is my channel anyways but I would love to post videos with my baby and stuff when our when um, the baby is born, but I don't want to just like make videos just, just with the baby of him or her. I don't know. I don't know. We don't know what the baby's gender is right now, but we will find out in October. Then I got some new makeup yesterday. Um, it's called Super Stay by Maybelline. It's 24 hour skin tint. And then I got this concealer. I wanted to get some makeup, like foundation and concealer for pimples because I want them to be covered. I don't like, I don't know. I tried to, but then my husband says, you're getting acne because you're breaking out with zits and stuff because of your pregnancy. And I'm like, yeah, I know, but I still don't like it. And today's video, so... I'm 13 weeks now, so I'll be 14 weeks on Thursday. Um, I'm thinking about making YouTube videos, or not YouTube videos, thinking about making maybe ASMR videos or just makeup videos, and then also talking more about my pregnancy and stuff like that. My nauseousness has been okay, but I've been still throwing up a lot. Not a lot, just once, like, like every other day, couple days or something, I throw up, but it's just that one day and then that's it. I don't keep throwing up throughout the day. It's just one day. But I'm doing okay, though. Just tired at some times. So then I take naps during the day. I just want to talk about today about fam toxic family members. I don't know if you guys have them in your family, or they run in your family or not, or you may not have any toxic family members, or maybe toxic friends, I don't know. But I don't know. I think, I feel like, I don't know, like, I don't want a lot of friends anymore. Like, sometimes I feel like friends are not even, I don't know, I feel like sometimes friends are so overrated. Like, friends act like they're so fake. I think it's weird when people are just, I don't know, it's just weird, I think. People are so different now. And like, I remember when I was a kid, there used to be, like you would see tons of kids outside playing in the park, riding their bike. I'd see people walking or moms like in the park hanging out with their with them and their kids and stuff like like that or or um just people having fun in general or people walking their dogs on the sidewalk just walking talking and stuff like that now i don't know it seems so weird like now that we have electronics it's like you don't really see that anymore I think it's really sad though, but we can't really do much about it. Life is so different now. And I feel like 
I don't know. And I feel like I hate to talk about this, about my sister and stuff, but I get so sick of talking about her. Or sometimes I get so sick of talking to her because it's like, I feel like when I talk to her, I can't, ha I can't have opinions <clears throat> about things. I can never have opinions on what I do, what I say, but she can, but she acts like she can have a whole bunch of opinions on things and not have a care in the world, but then, I don't know, I just, I'm just annoyed by her sometimes, the way, the way how she talks, she talks about inappropriate things, it's so annoying. And I think it doesn't help that my parents never taught how for her to not say anything mean or bad or whatever. And she just gets away with anything. I hate that I feel like I can't have an opinion on things. Sometimes I get so sick of talking to her because she doesn't get it. And she should be okay with me having opinions on things. If I don't like something, I don't have to like something. She just annoys me. Like she only cares about herself. She doesn't care about anyone else. Or I said to her, I don't know why she wouldn't even get mad about this, but she got mad. Like I said, that my husband only cares about me and the baby because you really don't know him. He's my husband. He knows me. He loves me. And stuff like that. She has a boyfriend. See, and this is what I don't like. And then she's always jealous. And I hated that the fact that I'm actually kind of happy that I don't live with my parents anymore. Because everything was a competition to her. Like, she had to have better clothes than me. And better shoes than me. Jewelry and everything. But, in, but, in, but you know what? She was no better than me anyways. But she acted like she was. I don't understand. It was like just annoyed. It just annoyed me. Like she's just so annoying. She acts like she's so much better than me. And she acts like I can't have no opinion on anything. I don't know. She just annoys me. I just wish she was a better sister. I thought when you get older, sisters are in siblings, family or whatever. It's supposed to be close to you and nice to you and treat you right, not treat you like garbage. Because ever since I lived with my parents, my sister would always treat me so bad. And then I always tried to explain or try to think in my head why, or just try to tell myself, maybe this is how she is. But people shouldn't just be mean just to be mean. There has to be something that made her, her made her mean. I think it's jealousy. I think my sister knows that I can move out. I can get married. I can have kids. She can't. She can't get married because she is kind of like a disability where my parents will have to take care of her. And if something happens to my parents... She'll have to go to assistant living. My sister has a boyfriend, but she can never get married. But she doesn't, she can't take care of herself. But again, my sister shouldn't be jealous of me. This, this is the life that God gave me. I don't know. Trying to explain things to my sister is just annoying. Like... I don't know. I wish there was a way that my sister could just fully understand. But she's nice one minute on the phone. If I don't like something and I tell her about it, she gives me the silent treatment. And now she hasn't talked to me in like 12, 13, 14 days. One of those days. I don't know how many, but I'm keeping track this time.
because it's just so annoying and just rude and crappy sister, I guess. I just feel like she's a shitty sister. And sometimes I feel like I want to give up. I want to not talk to her anymore because of how she treats me. I just think that she shouldn't treat me like this. If she doesn't have something to say, then oh well. Like if I have something to say that she doesn't like, then don't say stupid stuff to me on the phone then. Certain things that she says doesn't make any sense. I don't know. Sometimes I wish I never freaking had a sister then. Because she and I would always fight all the time. I don't know. But then, when we were younger, she and I would always <sighs> hang out together. But now that we're older, She's always saying something stupid to me, and sometimes I don't know how to react. Sometimes I feel like, why is she acting like this? When there's really no reason for it. And she acts like it's okay for her to act like that. When I feel like she shouldn't act like that. I don't know, I wish she was a, just a better person, not treat me like crap. Or she still probably thinks she's so much better than me just because I moved out of my parents' house. She acts like she can run my life still. And I'm just sick of it. I'm sick of her always have to try to run my life when I really don't live with my parents anymore. I'm married, I live with my husband and our two cats and we're expecting a baby soon. So it's like, I wish my sister would just grow the hell up, not act like a little baby. She should just act more mature, but she's not. She acts like she's a freaking two-year-old. I don't know, she'll never get it. That's why she's so annoying at times. <clears throat> or sometimes I am. <coughs> Sorry. I don't understand why she acts like such a baby. Because she, she doesn't, I don't know, she's not mature enough for anything. Sorry, she even has a boyfriend. I feel like she's not even mature enough to even have a boyfriend. At all. I mean, she doesn't act like her age. She doesn't, I don't know, she's so annoying sometimes. But I just hope once the baby comes, life is a little bit more different. And like I told my sister, like when the baby comes, I won't be able to talk all the time on the phone because I'll be um, paying attention to the baby all the time and making sure the baby's okay and if the baby needs anything or whatever. And then my sister gets all mad. Then I'm like, well, I'm sorry, but that's just how it is. Babies need full attention from their parents if they need something. The baby might be hungry. The baby might need a nap. The baby might need a diaper change. It's just how it is. When you have a baby, they need their, their parents' full attention because they may need something or they may want their parents' attention just to hold them. See, this is why... I hate talking to my sister because she doesn't understand anything. She thinks everything is about her and she acts like just because I'm having a baby I should drop whatever I'm doing just to talk to her when she's not that important and that's what I don't understand. To me she's not that important. The baby's going to be 100% important to me because the baby will need things 
and I have to be there right then and there just to see what the baby needs. So I don't care if my sister gets mad or what because I feel like my sister acts like a little baby. She doesn't act like herself or her age. She acts like a little brat. She does. She acts like a little brat. And she can't handle the truth. So I feel like sometimes when she gets mad at me about something, she'll give me the silent treatment and not talk to me for weeks or a couple months. And after a while, I'm just sick of it. Sometimes I don't even know what to do. Sometimes I feel like I just want to scream or not bother talking to her anymore at all because of how she how she is and she acts like a little kid. She doesn't understand anything. She acts like everything's all about her and it's not. Thanks guys for watching my videos and I'll see you next time in my next video. Bye.